Um, okay, I'll share it, sharing with you the next speaker. He is a person that enjoys facilitating workshops in sound discovery and team building by playing with Lego brick. You know what is Lego? The one that the children like to play with. And affectionately, you might find him appears as a fruit when, when he visits other clubs. He, he appears as tomato, I remember. <laughs> Sharp and sweet. Keep simple, keep things simple. So that's what he said, this introduction. And uh, the topics that he didn't share with us is a fruity Toastmasters leadership journey. A fruity Toastmasters leadership journey. Gerald Ong, distinguished Toastmaster. Hey, thank you, Sister Yang Ping. <laughs> yeah, I have not collected anything from her yet. The, your fruits and all that. Yeah, yeah you're so busy. Huh? Yeah, too busy really. Yeah, that's why. Yeah, so some of you might be wondering in my name, uh, I and in my intro in my Zoom link name, uh, that's my Burmese name because we have uh Lewin here from Burma. So yeah, Migalaba, Berwit, and so and that's my Thai name for Watana. So you will see me when I go international, I will tend to change my name to different different translations of my name. So you might see me appear in your club with a foots and with my translation of my name. So some of them have already encountered me in different languages. So I my name translated in six languages now. So from time to time, because we are international movement, we will try to do different things. And some of you are meeting me for the first time, so I see me speak in ages, and I go to unpack in a fruity way. So I'll give you some background myself. So this is me. I do a lot of work with bricks. Yes, and in fact, today I'm also going to use uh, going to use my Duplo bricks to show you some examples. How, how does these things coincide and change? Because I'm also now undergoing a certification, lifelong learning. And if you are following me on LinkedIn, you can also find me. No problem. The same name that you see me with my Burmese name. Definitely can find me on. And, and my colors are always, it's a different blue from those masters. It's a turquoise, turquoise blue. So let me begin my journey by when I start first joining those masters. It was a time when I just graduated from poly. That was in May 2007. And Yang Ping happened to be my VPM at Star Millennium Advance. Okay, uh, this is my poly classmates that I, that I hang out with them from time to time. Uh, we still meet once in a while. Now it's not a good time because Christmas is coming. They are busy, ba they are busy running their baking business. So that's, that's, so that's a time where I did a survey and I need to, do, to improve my public speaking. So that is one of the areas that I need to. So over time, every year, I'm always trying something new. So if you see me as a test speaker, be prepared. I'm always trying something new beyond my normal limits. Because we have been trained, I've been psychologically been trained to handle doing things that, that you least expect me to do, or least expect me to come up with, and incorporate all kinds of ideas into a, new, into a new presentation. So now I go and unpack my fruit basket, where you see what I have, what is the fruit journey that I went through as a leader in Division D, as a division director. And now I'm still in the Division D council as an advisor because you, you know why in why I happen to be in this as an advisor. But firstly, let's unpack the food basket because there's so many different foods out there and every time you always want to eat the same foods. True, sometimes. Like yumping banana. My family like banana also. So. And sometimes got beat. Those muscles also made me ever go bananas before. Okay, there's many scenarios out there. So here are some of my roles that I took up before doing the division director. Actually, I was well prepared to take up as a division director anytime, ready to go because I really met the eligibility requirement. And my nomination, uh, my interviewer of, uh, of my time when I was a division director is our region advisor, Po Kim Seong. So, very blessed. But before that, I actually, I planned my move very strategically. So, I first, I made myself establish in the division council. There was, there was a good time now where you can establish yourself in the division council to learn the different roles of what? The admin manager, the PR manager, the at the time there was a marketing role, so the division governor marketing. So I tried the different thing, but I end up the most of the role that I end up with was a PR role or admin manager role because my PR is good. You will see some of my photos that I take over the years and recent photos that I've done. So out of, out of my smartphone now because of I have no time to go DSR photography. So when you're in Toastmasters, you get to meet all kinds, you see the strengths and the mistakes of each council. So my predecessor was really that time. So I saw her, her counsel. Sometimes is whether have you mature enough to take the role or whether have you even 
go through the journey to even understand every single role of a council and understanding the ground from the ground up initiative. So certain things we do ground up initiative do have a meaning. And I'm still in touch with another exos master involving another ground up initiative today, they involving Lego bricks, okay? A different set of Lego bricks that we are using. But we can see the from there I know how to balance my council. And it was quite a strategic move and a challenge to balance them. Of course, there's always a potential logistic issue. I'm a, I'm a, I don't know, I'm not sure if anybody got spent a lot in 11-11 uh, last week. But anyway, I'm preparing for Black Friday sale already to buy my next batch of stuff to procure for my work. But in Toastmasters Day, I, my time, I always like to find new ideas and find new stuff. Okay? So I'm known to try things out. And this is some of my council members. Okay? Some of them are in the room, some of them are not. Some are still in touch with me till today. Okay? Uh, we have Jessica moving on after my, her term as a division finance manager. She went to the district finance manager. We got some members who still even drop out of the committee halfway. There's no choice. Sometimes commitment, sometimes they can't even do the role. You have to understand everybody is a volunteer. So you get them to come and help you is already a big bonus already. If they are free. If work comes first, I then go and do your work first. Don't bother about them. Because even at the time, I was, I was only sitting in two committees now. But now I hold, I think, six or seven different projects I'm involved in. So certain timing is whether how busy you are, whether you can still support. And true enough to the fact, right, some of my council members are still meeting me. Uh, we're going to meet up for Christmas as usual. Because no photos, because we are very social, very gathering type. Because we had the privilege to meet uh, past international president and then uh, Balavaj who came down. Okay, to tell. So that is the CGD committee with Balavaj, Carolyn, Jianhui, and then my successor, Pradeep. Okay. And of course, you also must remember some of the past leaders that you always go for. Everybody always need to learn for something. For example, on the ground on the right, okay, that was the installation day when I was a division director. That, that is Ying Swan. And I first met him when? I met him many years ago when he drove down all the way from JB to visit Star Millennium. And still today, we are still very close. And then also that where I met his uh, club growth director then, incoming, so called incoming or subsequently became a club growth director, Selena Chong from District 102. So that kind of cross border and messages that you get from different friends over the years. And then on the left is Richard. I was happened to be visiting uh, Queenstown for installation and Shang was the installation officer. Yeah, she was my area director. So, and you are wondering what's the salon below that? That is, that is my Burmese dress anyway, okay? So, because of my work in Burma, so I have a lot of traditional dress that I have. Okay, so they are good bananas, yes. During the process with my division council, some of them question some of my uh, nonsensical way or radical way of doing things. One of the first things I did was morning COT, and I chose the speaker myself. But and everybody loved the idea. I got interesting feedback. Uh, now, uh, then Division E Director Izaji commented in a group chat. He said, I didn't expect that idea to come out to, to even trigger some, some new things. To new things and new, new way of doing things. Even an aerial contest, D1 and D3 was combined in the morning because of venue constraint. And I was borrowing from who? Royal, Cheng San Toastmasters. Then Cheng San Toastmasters. Uh, he runs a consulting firm. Of course, I also had to take something from him. So I haven't do my be safe cert with him because he's a safety guy. But his venue is good. So I made many circle of friends through that, through that way. So many people make you become very bananas. Yes. Literally, I became very bananas. I don't know what to do. Okay. So thankfully, my special project chair was Jackson. So it's, Jackson was my hidden advisor within the council. So I have many layers of protection or many layers of ideas that I can layer open. So sometimes you may wonder, do you, did I eventually became a tomato after that? Okay. But the main message is, be true to yourself and your message will move millions. Okay, this is a recent uh, LinkedIn post that I did recently. Okay, my really quote of the week. Because when you are staying true to your message and you know that clubs are dying, go and help the, help the weaker clubs. 100% of the time, I was on the ground with the weaker clubs. Okay, the established club, you won't see me there. I don't like to go there. No need to go there. Just be friend, just show face. Good enough. It's sometimes it's the presence that counts only that they need. Some of the, even the older club in Division D, like Iska, Complain with, hey, you're ill director not doing anything. Should you go and visit? Of course, I made a visit. I supported, I, so I attended their whole session of speech class. Without my evil director there, I just go there as a, as a surprise visit. So that's the reason why in my introduction, I may appear as a food 
when I go, when I up one more antique level of my antiques, you see me change into different languages. So it's through learning of the different languages over time. So did I become a tomato in the end? Hmm. Uh, I leave you to, to wonder that. Okay. By the way, I drank, I can drink up to seven cans of tomato juice on a on SQ plane. Huh? That's, that's how many, that's how many cans of tomato juice when I go on a, on a flight, on a normal SQ flight to Myanmar. That's about two and a half hours. Okay, so yeah, begin to metal. I leave you to think, but sometimes or not, you will, we also tend to be caught in situation, okay, where you are facing so much challenges in in life also. Okay, at that time prior to me taking up my division director role, I was facing a very difficult challenge. So just like this school of pawns that you see here. Okay, uh, by the way, ah, uh, you wonder how I get my signature done? Ah, uh, go and find out on LinkedIn. Ah, uh. that's my signature designer done for me. Ah, uh. okay. And this is my drinking, recent drinking session with a friend. Okay. With all these nice sweet prawns there and deep fried. So sometimes you are faced in this situation where so many prawns go and confuse you, distracting you. I do. I did face my life distraction. My life distraction then before my division director was doing my university studies. I was managing so many roles and doing my university work. So how do I manage that? That was a challenge. And that school of prawns also just like that. Because every time you can always solve a problem out of nowhere. So I have this tendency of solving things that you never expect me to solve one. So for example, one of my creative solving problems was I solved a division contest or even contest, all my tokens, I sourced myself. Because of me doing all the sourcing in mass volume, like what Yamping is doing with the TM store in a similar way, but I do another way of finding things. So the more I hunt for things, the more I look at new things, I even see new ideas every time coming up. So, so all my tokens of appreciation were fidget spinners at 50 cents. And I found it at, at one quarter of the price that most Toastmasters would pay. Sounds crazy, but if you can do it, you can find it. So that's how you solve problems. It's simple. So like, like every time, we always need to have a lot of fruits to help us go through the journey. Okay? So you need to become a watermelon. Yes. Yeah, some of you might have seen me became a watermelon Toastmasters meaning call me the watermelon. Uh, the West Coast Toastmasters who are attending today who have seen me all through the different foods really because I'm always there because they were the first club that got my attention. Okay, when because of COVID, they were really well prepared really before the COVID. So they solve problems creatively. You need to get your events kick started. Even this event or just out of nowhere something just came out together. And I say, let's have a cozy group better than nothing. And you can always find new ideas from all the places. So there's a tendency that even tonight, if I'm free, if I'm not so busy, I'll be attending Thailand Online Toastmasters Club with our division director, Shan Shan. If we are both available tonight. Okay. Usually we will go there because we have, you know, a past DTM tunnels. It's happened to be there and we supported him. And that kind of old friendships, ever since District 80 became a Singapore-only regional district, we are always there and we always support each other. And the old friendships are still keep going on and back and forth. So even this Tuesday, I'm going to visit another JB club as a general evaluator. That's nice. And they have been visit they have been waiting for me because I was on a mentorship program. I Institute Adult Learning. So no choice, I told them earlier. Uh, three, I give you three months notice. I say, cannot. I go be there as a GE. I promise you I'll be fun. So gotta find my old GE template for my for my keynote slides, because I'm a MacBook user, so no choice. So you gotta keep finding new ideas and how to visit club. And likewise, there's always lots of patches appearing the gap. Okay. You have anywhere I take my photos from, uh, this is from Cloud Flowers. Okay. And these are all stock, stock worthy, uh, stock photo worthy on standard. So that's my level of photography I go. Because that's the reason why I became a PR manager because of my photography level recently. So you might have seen that, that, that pattern. Nice for Yamping. I think Yamping uh, might have not seen me post on Facebook so much, but it's mostly on my LinkedIn. So just allow the gaps appear and you can naturally the it out. Just make me problem solving. So, if you want to carry like a simple brick like this, uh, okay, this is my Lego bricks. Okay, this is a straight brick, a towel. Okay, so when we want to put things right, sometimes you just need to change the way of presenting it. Okay, instead of putting this in your bag, you might want to present it back in the cube. Okay, so that is what you can do. So there's a Lego cube. Okay, there's more activities. Look out for it. I'm running a workshop soon uh, next month for insurance agency anyway. So this is one of the things I do. How I manage to link my work with it. Because memorable, memorable pineapple. Hmm. And today I am the pineapple today, right? Some things will be memorable. Of course, it's acidic. 
So take advice from certain seniors. There are many seniors in those masters, even certain seniors are just, just listening. Okay. And you'll be amazed some of the seniors will adopt to the to the new technology and sometimes they can give you voice or wisdom. So they also of course you need to work with your team, different teams uh, you want to work with. Uh, who want to give me a guess? What is this discuss over black gold or grape juice? What drink am I referring to? Make a guess. What do you think that drink uh, I'm referring to? It's stout la, wow. <laughs> It's stout la. Jackson knows my know my uh, it's stout la. Black gold is stout la. Grape juice is wine la. Okay, beer. Uh, so most of my community members know me long enough that Black Gold is a stout. Yes, I'm a stout drinker also. Eh? So, okay. so now is the time where you explore the horizon. Okay. Explore this horizon. Okay. Nice photo, right? My fall for my travels. So you should explore the effort, push yourself to beyond limit, and it's whether you want to do it or not. Okay. So now is a good time that because of COVID-19, you got a lot. Have you started? I post this on my LinkedIn recently. Have you started looking seriously at 2021? What's your next goal? Uh, it's a time to reset. Very good opportunity to reset. So here are some tips if you want to stand up from as a division director. Here are some of my tricks that I did. Okay, I can give you some tricks that I did. First, nomination. Get your document, documents properly. Cook or by cook, you better get it done properly. Okay. So your documentation is number one. Make sure you hit your qualifying requirements also. Uh. So every, for those who are going to stand up, because I know there are some West Coast uh, new to those masters. So when you go up from a division director, you have to fight for a nomination. So then the second stage, you've got a campaigning. You need to campaign, get your poster, your endorsements. By the way, I got four endorsements from other countries also. Okay? So that's how I secure my division director. I played a, cal a lot of calculated risk. So I asked all my, Thai, my Indian friends from District 98, to help me out. So, because I was helping them many years back in their table topic session, everybody knows me as the king of table topics, so naturally they will help me back. So, and by the way, they are two and a half hours behind us. So can you imagine how late I was then practicing with them on Google Meet during the era before COVID? So that was a interesting thing. And of course, election, do your best. And you can tell yourself you can always do it. Okay. And lastly, because I travel so much to Man uh, Myanmar, this year I don't get to enjoy my favorite. Uh, Sintalo mangoes, you always cherish the mangoes in every part of the journey. And every time you always cherish different things. And one of the most memorable moments was SRC anniversary that I happened to be invited. Because SRC also a Division D club, uh, now Division E, uh, so I better go. Uh. Okay, so as Division D director, I better go. Uh. And you guess who I bump into? I bump into my CEO, okay? my Army NSF CEO. Okay? He's presently now the CSS Com Commander, Combat Service Support Command. Uh, that he's now a general, uh, Terry Tan. At the time I met him, he was a colonel. So that is one of the rare occasions that you get to meet. Your commanding officer of a battalion. Yeah, I said, how are you there? Until today, and when I go back to reserve is in, in country tree, that's country camp tree, that's where, you, that's where we are located. You will get to see, I will always bump to him without fear. I will always see him and ask me, how am I doing? I say, I'm doing, I'm doing good. I'm doing fine. So that is how you build that Quan Si also. La. Because when we met each other, I said, you look very familiar. I said, yeah, you also look very familiar. I said, oh, it's my CEO. So now he's a VA, and, and recently, I so may have seen him in the last two years, uh, he might came out in the media because of uh, some unfortunate circumstances within the command. Okay. He didn't want to want the, the commands under his, his care. So that's no choice. And he got to do it because of that role. Of course, I met many other colonels out there also, uh, through my different circle of training in my work. But nevertheless, I hope I have convinced you, if you are ready to stand as a division director, just go for it. Because the journey just is always, is always there and always interesting. Okay, and thank you. This is from, from Mr. Pineapple of today. <laughs>